All right, welcome. Let's just start by lying back on our backs. Let's bring one hand to our heart and one hand to our belly. Find the length from your heels to your crown. So tuck your chin just a little bit. Close your eyes. And then just start to slow your breath way down. Start with a little box breathing. Maybe you start with the three count. So you inhale for three, you hold for three, you exhale for three, and hold for three. All four equal parts to make the box. And then maybe you start to lengthen it. Maybe you make it four counts or even five counts. Maybe after a while you get a rhythm down and you don't need to count it anymore to make them even. And just see if you can notice, just by giving your mind something to do, even as simple as paying attention to your breath, you're allowing it to stop, trying to figure everything out. You're allowing some space to just be. See if you can commit to staying in this place of presence beyond the thoughts while we start to move our bodies. So keeping that connection with your breath, hug your knees into your chest. And just start to move however it feels good. Maybe rocking side to side across the spine. Now let your right leg go long, interlace your fingers around your left knee and hug it in towards the left armpit. Tuck the chin a little, kick out through the right heel. Squeeze your elbows in against the body. Find your breath. Maybe you continue that box breathing or just find a slow rhythmic flow of the inhale and the exhale, holding for just a moment at the top. Bring your right arm up to the side like a cactus. Use your left hand to guide your left knee open. Keep kicking out through the right heel and looking straight up towards the sky. Relax your shoulders, lengthen from your heel to your crown. Find your breath. that knee across the body, hand it up to the right hand, find a gentle spinal twist, gazing out over the left hand. As we start to come back into that place where your mind's trying to figure it all out, just decide to stay with this breath a little bit longer instead. And just by focusing and staying with this breath, we go to that place a little deeper than where those thoughts are. Come back to center, hug your knees into your chest, hug your forehead in to touch your knees, squeeze everything in tight. And then let your left leg go long, lower your head back down, tuck your chin, squeeze that knee in towards the armpit, squeeze the elbows in towards the body, and a little more length from your heel to your crown. Left arm comes out to the left, right hand guides that right knee open, keep kicking through the left heel. Knee comes
comes across the body, hand it off for that gentle spinal twist, gaze over the right hand. Stay with this breath. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees in, hug your forehead in, squeeze everything in tight. Drop forward to the knees, down behind your head, go all the way to the seat a couple times. When you're ready, we'll stay up in that seat. Comfortable cross legged seat. Inhale the arms up, squeeze your palms together, look up, reach out, fill up. Exhale, turn and twist to the right. Inhale here to lengthen. Exhale, soften, deepen your twist. Inhale, come back to center, squeeze the palms, reach up. Exhale, turn and twist left. Same thing, inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, soften, deepen. Inhale, back to center, reach up, fill up, take your time. Exhale to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften, deepen. We're gonna stay right here and we're just gonna walk it down towards the right, lowering our body down towards the ground. Maybe that right hand stays back behind you to keep length, or maybe you walk it out to the side too. Keep pressing the left sit bone down. If your head become heavy, stay with your breath. Slowly walk it back to center. And sink in a little bit more. Head stays heavy. Sit bones stay grounded. Each exhale, another chance to let something go. Soften the shoulders, the head. And slowly round it up. And now arms up. Squeeze the palms. Reach up. Fill up. Exhale, turn and twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften and deepen. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, turn and twist to the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften and deepen. And then we'll walk it out to the left. Maybe left hand stays put. Maybe it joins the right hand over there. If the right sit bone's trying to keep up, press it down. Head is heavy. just behind you, stay up on your fingertips. Slowly drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Soften your shoulders. Stay right here if you like, or slowly start to lift that left hand up, reaching back through the fingers. Maybe finding movement, turning the hand, finding some tension, using your breath to release that tension. Maybe you're rocking your head forward and back just a little bit. Lower that hand back down. Let the head fall heavy towards the front. Let the weight of your head help to open the upper middle back a little more. Come back to center, lengthen through the crown. Left ear, left shoulder. Soften shoulders. Stay here or start to slowly lift that right hand. Reaching through the fingers. Finding movement if it feels right. Lower that hand back down, let the head fall heavy towards the front. And lift the head so the chin's parallel to the ground. Inhale the hands up. Squeeze the palms, drop the head back. Press the hands together, find a little more length as you reach up. Find a little more softness as the shoulders drop down. Bring your hands to the heart. And lower your hands down by your sides. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. 
Getting a nice tabletop setup. Press down into the hands. Your back broadening. Inhale, peel the right hand up and twist yourself open. Exhale, thread the needle. Bring the right ear down. Reach the left hand up now. Draw it back. Open up. Lower the left hand back down. Inhale, right hand comes up. Twist open. Come back, hands and knees for one round of cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly. Shine the heart forward. Exhale, round it out. Come back to that nice long spine. Lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, peel the left hand up. Twist open. Thread the needle. Bring the ear all the way down. Inhale, reach the right hand up. Roll it back. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Inhale, peel the left hand up. Twist open. Come back one round of cat cow. We'll do that one more time on each side. Take your time. Up to the right hand up. Twist open. Up. Exhale, settle in. Exhale, lower it back down. Inhale, right hand reaches up. Open up. Lower the right hand. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round it out. When you're completely empty, come back to that neutral spine. Inhale, right hand reaches up. Roll that shoulder back more. Thread the needle. Inhale, pull the right hand up. Exhale it back down. Inhale, left hand up. One more round of cat cow. Take your time. Now we're going to press back to child pose. We're going to bring our hands to the ground. We're going to make what wrap one hand around the other fist so our thumbs are pointing straight up and we're going to rest them right at the space right on the inside of our eyes right on the eye above the eyelids or even into the eyebrows or you can interlace the fingers if that works better as well we're using the thumbs here to find some tension around the brow area resting your head here find a spot where it feels really good Necessary at least, and then find your breath. <laughs> Feels really good here. Stay here. Maybe you move them a little bit to find a different spot here. A couple more breaths. Slowly release your forehead down, reach your hands back behind, palms face up, slump the shoulders down towards the ground and let everything go. Commit to letting go of the worries of the world. Just for a little bit together today, staying with our breath, looking at our focus to find this place of peace. Ready, slowly roll up. Toes under. Slowly come to stand with the back of the mat. Cross the hands back. Inhale to lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, tuck your chin. Slowly round up, letting the arms and head stay heavy. Press down through the feet. Lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, arms up. Grab your right wrist. Step your right foot out to the side a little bit and drop your hands over towards the left. Maybe finding movement, pressing that heel down towards the ground, softening through the shoulders. Slowly come back to center, grab the left wrist. Come onto those left toes as the hands come over to the right. Use this exhale, soften. Slowly come back up, bring your hands together and draw them down through the heart center and down by your sides. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. 
lift your left foot out to the left. Put your legs on heavy. Point the toes. Lift that leg as high as you can. Draw the belly in and up. Let your head keep falling down a little bit closer to the ground. And lower the left foot back down. Reach the right foot out to the right. Point the toe. Head is heavy. Breath is deep. Belly is in. Reach through the toes. So lower the right foot back down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Walk your hands forward. Find a plank. And a little more length from your heels to your crown. Press into the hands. Draw the belly in and up. Broaden through the back. Every single exhale, a chance to soften. If you're back in that place of wandering thoughts, come back to counting the seconds of your inhale and your exhale. Or just stay with each breath as long as you can. Staying focused on this breath, on this moment. One more breath. Lower the knees, rock forward, lower the chest, and then the chin, and tuck the toes. Hug the elbows in, press through the feet, inhale, come up. Each inhale, we're gonna lift a little higher, maybe starting to press into the hands to straighten into the arm. Pressing down through the feet, try to make the collarbone smile. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Now, if your arms are straight and you feel okay here, maybe you slowly start to gaze over the right shoulder, maybe even back towards the feet. Slowly come back to center and gaze out over the left. Slowly come back to center and lower down. Throw the toes, lift the knees and quads, press up to plank. And then lift up downward facing dog. Getting right into stillness here if you feel ready. If not, pedaling it out or swaying the hips. Head is heavy, breath is deep. All right. Inhale, lift the right foot, just a couple, just one foot off the ground. Sink into the left heel and press back through the right heel. Find that balance between both of your legs. Find the balance between both your arms, pressing through the hands. Drawing the shoulders out of the ears a little bit. Really slowly start to lift that right leg up as high as you can. Keep the toes pointing down, keep your hips in line. Press back and up through the heel. Go up on the tippy toes. Exhale, draw your knee all the way to your nose and step it through crescent lunge. Press the right knee forward as you sink in. Maybe your hands come together and you gaze up at the thumbs. Use this exhale, soften the shoulders, soften the face. With this soft, steady gaze. All right, sweep the arms back, kick off that back leg, lift it up to a parallel to the ground. Put the toes down and slightly in, bring the hands to the heart, level the hips out. Find that balance between both legs as the right foot presses down and the left foot presses back. Slowly come to standing, bring the left knee with you, hug it in and up, nice and tall. Release the left hand back, let the gaze follow, find a little twist. And bring that left hand forward, we're gonna find the tree pose here. Bring your foot to touch your thigh if you can. Bring your hands to your heart. Scoop your hips forward, let that knee fall back. Now root down into that foot to rise up tall like a tree. Exhale, we soften and release. Slowly hug that left knee in and up again. Release that left hand back from that twist. And then step back and press the lunge. Press the right knee forward, reach the arm back. Touch that the left hand down, knees up to the right hand. Roll that right shoulder back to stack the shoulders. I'm going to slowly lift all the way up to reverse crescent. Keep the deep bend in the right knee. Right hand finds left thigh. Cartwheel hands down, shoot the right foot up and back. Three legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips, try to stack them, sink into the left heel. Let your head stay heavy and come back downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into plank and slowly lower down, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, baby cobra. 
or just skip it and meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left foot just a foot off the ground, flex the foot. The toes are pointing down, press back to the heel, sink into the right heel, find that balance between the legs, between the arms, head is heavy, shake it out and slowly lift that heel all the way up. Keep pressing the right heel down, keep the weight even between the hands. Inhale up high on the toes, exhale, knee to nose, step it through, press a lunge. Left knee presses forward as the left hip draws back. Maybe the palms come together and your gaze goes up. Exhale, soften the shoulders, the jaw. Stay with this breath. Sweep the arms back, kick off that back leg, bring your hips into alignment. Foot is flexed, toes point down, hands come to heart. And that balance, the left foot presses down and the right foot presses back. Slowly come to standing, lift that knee in and up. Peel the right hand back, let the gaze follow, find that little twist. Bring the right hand back, come into that tree pose. Rooting down into the left foot to grow a little taller. Use your exhale to grow visibly softer. If you want to challenge the balance, you can reach up or look up or sway in the wind a little bit. Hug that knee in and up, peel the right hand back, find that twist, slowly step back, crescent lunge. Plant the right hand down, stack the shoulders, gaze up to the left hand, roll your heart up towards the sky. Slowly lift up, reverse crescent, keep the deep bend in the left knee. Cartwheel hands down, shoot the left foot up and back, three legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips, head stays heavy. Come back, downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, come up high on the tippy toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Slowly walk your hands back to meet your feet. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Keep your head heavy, walk your hands over to the right. Maybe even back behind you just a little bit. Maybe one of your knees needs to bend here, that's okay. Let your head hang, shake it out a little bit, soften through the shoulders, stay with your breath. Slowly walk it back through center and over to the left. Maybe back behind you just a touch. Slowly come back to center, press into the feet and round up. Arms and head heavy. Heart lifts, shoulders draw down the back. Keep them down as you inhale the arms up. Squeeze the palms together. Interlace the fingers, release your index finger. Glue your palms together. Try to squeeze your head with your arms, your biceps are by your ears, step your right foot forward. Come down and make a capital letter T, lengthening out. Keep the hips in line. You're still squeezing your head with your straight arms, palms are glued together, point the toes, get everything parallel to the ground, lengthen out more, it'll help with balance. Find your breath. Now plant the left fingertips down in front of the right toes, peel the right hand up, try to stack your shoulders. You can flex or point those back toes, but fully commit to one or the other to keep that back leg really activated. See if you can get your torso and the leg parallel to the ground as you roll that right hand back more. Slowly set the left foot down a couple feet behind the right like a revolved triangle. You might need to readjust the left hand or bring it onto a block. Gaze up at the right hand, roll that right shoulder back, pull the belly in. Press down into the feet, lengthen from your sit bones to your crown. Don't forget to soften on the exhale, let something go. We're gonna come all the way up like revolve reverse triangle, if that's a thing, press into the feet, come up, left hand reaches up. Cartwheel hands down, shoot the left foot high like standing split. And set the left foot down to meet the right. Sink your weight into your heels, sit into the chair, pull the belly in. Inhale, we find a little more length. We hold on to this breath as long as we can. Exhale, we find a little more softness. Press into the feet, stand up, find a backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. Inhale, arms up. Interlace fingers, glue palms, biceps back, chin up. Left foot forward, come down. Be long, be long right away. Bring the hips into alignment, squeeze your head, glue your palms, point your toe. Find your breath, find your strength. 
Slowly plant the right fingertips down. Feel the left hand up. Try to stack the shoulders. Point it or flex the spine, but keep that back leg strong as you roll the left shoulder back. Lengthen out. Set the right foot a couple feet behind the left. Revolve triangle. Readjust the right hand. Gaze up at the left hand. Press down into the feet. Come all the way up for reverse revolve. Press into the feet. Right hand reaches up. Cartwheel hands down. Shoot the right foot high. Scan these splits. Set it right back down. Sit in the chair. Inhale, find more length. Exhale, find more softness. Press into the feet, stand up, find a backward bend. Exhale, hands to heart. And hands down by your sides. All right, we're going to hug the right knee in and up. We're going to bring the right arm inside the knee and grab that big toe with the peace sign fingers and kick out through the heel. Kick as hard as you can, it'll help with balance. Maybe your left hand wants to help with balance too. If you feel balanced and want to drag that right leg out to the right, go right ahead. Try not to let the left hip come with you. Keep the left hip facing the front of your mat. Slowly come back to center. Now keep kicking and lower your head down towards your knee. Find your breath. Slowly come up. Keep your foot lifted, but release your grip. Point your toe. Pull your belly in. And now flex and point and flex and point. One more time. And release your right leg. Shake it out. Now really shake it out. Shake your ankle, shake your knee. Really shake it out as much as you can. And set your right foot back down. Root it down into the ground as that left knee comes up. Elbow comes inside the knee. Grab that big toe and kick as hard as you can. Use your right hand if it helps. With that soft, steady gaze. If you feel balanced, drag it out to the left. If you feel balanced, you can gaze out over the right shoulder. Keep kicking through the heel. Slowly come back to center. Keep kicking as you lower the head down towards the knee. Slowly come back up. Keep your foot lifted. Release your grip. Point your toe. Pull the belly in and flex and point and flex and point. One more time. And shake it out. Really shake it out. All right, set your left foot down. Sit into the chair. Sweep your arms forward and then up. Bring your hands to your heart. Turn and twist to the right. Hook your elbow outside your knee. And twist your heart towards your thumbs, maybe placing them on the center of your chest. See so if you can stack the elbows, stack the shoulders. Inhale length from your sit bones to your crown. Exhale softness anywhere you can. Keeping your twist, slowly step the left foot back into crescent lunge and then open the arms up. Maybe you can gaze up at the right hand and roll that right shoulder back just a little bit more. All the way up to reverse crescent. Keep the deep bend in your right knee. Right hand finds left thigh. Cartwheel left hand down. Gaze up at the right hand. Roll your heart up towards the sky. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot. Sweep your right foot back, side plank. Reach your right arm up alongside the ear. Roll your heart up towards the sky. Step your right foot behind you and flip it over. Relax your head and your neck. Reach through the fingers. Stay with your breath. Come back to plank. Lower through chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog. Or skip it. Settle in here for a couple of breaths. Pressing down into the hands. Letting the head stay heavy. Inhale through the nose, come up high on the tippy toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into the heels. Shift your gaze up between your hands, bend your knees and walk or hop to the top. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Sit into the chair, weight in your heels. Bring the hands to the heart. Turn and twist to the left. Keep your weight in your heels, lower your booty a little more. Twist your heart towards your thumbs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. Slowly right foot steps back. 
Press the left knee forward, open the arms up. Slowly come up to reverse crescent, left hand finds right thigh. Cartwheel right hand down, gaze up the left hand, roll the heart up towards the sky, and then roll to the outside edge of the right foot. Sweep the left foot back. Left arm up alongside the ear, roll the heart up towards the sky again as you step the left foot back, flip it over. Relax your neck and neck. Let something go. Come back to plank, optional vinyasa. We're just meeting back in downward facing dog. Take your time. Stay with your breath. We're going to come down to a child's pose. Maybe again, you want to interlace the fingers and use those thumbs to find some pressure points up around the inside of the brow. Or maybe you just want to let your forehead come to rest on the ground. Stay with your breath here. Recommit for our second half of class to staying right here in this moment, not missing one moment, not missing one chance to allow this inhale to be our invitation inward to allow this exhale to help us release. When you're ready, slowly come back up, downward facing dog. All right, lift the right foot just about a foot. Find that balance between your legs as the left heel presses down and the right foot presses back. Keep that energy pressing out through the heels evenly as you lift the right leg up as high as you can. Press into the hands a little more. Soften through the shoulders, come up on the toes, lift a little higher. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, warrior two. Left heel spins out and down. Right knee presses forward. Press down through the feet. Stay with each breath as long as you can. Now bring the right elbow to the right knee and the left arm up alongside the ear. Keep pressing the right knee straight out over the second toe. Use your elbow against your knee to roll your heart up towards the sky. Draw the shoulder out of the ear. Spiral that pinky down towards the ground and reach through the fingers, lengthening the whole left side of your body. Keep the right knee deeply bent. Inhale, reverse warrior. Right hand reaches up. Maybe you can reach that left hand around for the right hip. Keep sinking into the right knee and reaching through the right fingertips. Let's straighten into the legs. We're going to come into triangle. Maybe you keep that bind. Maybe you need to heel toe that back foot in one time. Shift the hips back. Reach your hand forward. Come down into triangle pose. Roll that left shoulder back. If you got this, no problem. Bring the right arm up alongside the ear. Reach into the fingertips. Press into the feet, come up to reverse it. Right hand reaches up. Cartwheel your hands down, shoot the left foot up high, like standing splits at the top of the mat. And then set the left foot outside the right so your pinky toes can touch. You might need to wiggle the right foot back a little bit to make that happen. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, shake your head a little bit. Stay right here if you like, or take a little walk over to the right. Maybe even back behind you just to touch. Walk it back to your center and over to the left if you like. Keep your head heavy. Keep your breath. Slowly come back to center. Shoot the left foot up high like standing splits. And then slowly hop the right foot back towards the back of the mat like a three-legged dog. Inhale, come up on the toes. Lift the leg as high as you can. And then set the left foot downward facing dog. Sink into the heels. Inhale, lift the left foot just a little bit. Find that balance. Press into the hands. Lift it all the way up. Come up on the toes. Lift a little higher. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through, warrior two. Right heel spins out and down. Gaze over the left fingertips. Relax your shoulders. Find your breath. Find your focus. Find stillness here. Left elbow, left knee. 
Right arm up alongside the ear, spiral the pinky towards the ground. Press the left knee over second toe. Use leverage to roll the heart open towards the sky. Shoulder out of the ear, reach through the fingers. Keep the left knee deeply bent. As you inhale, reverse it. Maybe your right hand reaches around for that hip. If you can't grab the hip, just bring the back of the hand to the small of the back. Then straighten into the legs, maybe back foot, heel toes in one time. Shift the hips back, reach forward, find that triangle pose. Press down through the feet, roll that right shoulder back. Maybe the left hand comes up alongside the ear. Press down into the feet, inhale, reverse it. Left hand reaches up. Cartwheel hands down, shoot right foot high like standing splits. And then tip the right foot outside the left, pinky toes touch. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Stay right here if you like, or take a little walk to the left. Walking back through center and over to the right. Walk back through center, shoot that foot up high, and then hop the left foot back to the back of the mat. Three-legged dog. Inhale, come up high on the toes. Exhale, sink in, downward facing dog. All right, now step your right foot in, halfway between your left foot and your hands. Press into the hands and kick that left foot up. See if you can get the right foot to float up off the ground an inch or two. Keep your head heavy and your breath deep. Maybe you just float off the ground an inch. Maybe your hips stack over your shoulders for a second. Maybe you click your feet together in the air. Stay with your breath. Press into your hands. And then we'll switch. Coming back to down dog, stepping the left foot in halfway, kicking with the right foot. Maybe the left toes float off the ground. Maybe you click your feet together in the air. Maybe you even stack those hips over the shoulders for a second. Stay with your breath. All right, when you're ready, we'll come back downward facing dog. My, my boyfriend's doing monkey yoga. It's making me laugh. Maybe you use those thumbs again to find a pressure. Oh, I said downward facing dog, huh? Yeah, that's right, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right foot up high, come up on the toes, lift a little higher. Exhale, right knee, right, right wrist, half pigeon pose. All right, wiggle those left toes back a little. Try to get the hips in line. Walk your hands back by your hips. Broaden your collarbone, fill up. Now keep this length through the spine as you slowly lower down. Trying to get the forehead to touch the ground. If that's not working, make a little pillow with your arms or even your fists if you need more height. And get right into it here. Find that box breathing again. See if you can find at least four counts of inhale and then hold for four. And then exhale for four. And then hold for four. Maybe you can even make it longer. Just doing whatever we have to do to not let those thoughts come back in. To stay fully present right here in our body in this moment with this breath. If this is already enough for you, just stay right here for our last few breaths. If you want a little more, come up onto the hands. Keep the left hand planted, reach the right foot back for that foot behind you. Maybe you can grab the pinky toe side of that foot and kick into your hand. Really slowly those toes float down. Roll to the outside edge of the right hip. Sweep the left foot up and around, flat on the ground here. 
Actually, we're going to stack the knees here. So you're going to bring it even further. You might need to rock forward into the hands to try to get the knees together. Imagine your legs are like shoelaces and you're trying to tighten that knot. Now bring your thumbs right into the center of the arch, the outside arch of your foot. And find a little pressure point there where you really put quite a bit of pressure in your thumbs. And imagine that's helping you to release that tension in the left hip. Feel it happening here as you release that left sit bone down towards the ground. Staying right here if you like or start to fold it forward. Find that box breathing. Feel something happening here. Let it happen just by staying out of your head. Slowly come back up. We're just going to place that left foot flat on the ground outside that knee. And then we're going to turn and twist the left, bend the left fingertips to the base of the spine to lengthen. Reach the right hand up as high as you can. And then turn, hook that elbow outside the knee for leverage. And peel that left shoulder back more. Let your gaze fall on. And then lengthen, so all the way up. Exhale, soften and then deepen the grip. Find that box for you. Slowly, gently unwind from the center. Find a little counter twist on the right. Slowly come back up. We're going to make our way back to down dog. You can get there any way you like. Maybe you unwind and just cross the ankles, plant the hands, shoot it back, chaturanga. Maybe you just slowly meander back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot reaches high, come up on the toes. Exhale, left knee, left wrist, half pigeon pose. And do the right toes back. Walk the hands back. Hop up like a pigeon, level the hips. Keeping that length, lower down. And get right into it here. Forehead resting on something. Find your breath. Stay right here or come back up onto your hands and reach that left hand back. Slowly those toes slope down. Roll to the outside of the left hip. Bring the right foot up and around and try to stack the knees. Maybe you need to come forward into the hands to tighten that knot. Bring your thumbs to the outside of the arch of the feet and find that pressure point. And feel that right hip and right glute softening. Stay right here and start to fold forward. outside that knee. Turn to the right, plant the right fingertips. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Put the elbow outside the knee. Now use this leverage. Pull the right shoulder back. Let the gaze follow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften through the shoulder, soften through the face. Deepen your twist after you're empty.
slowly, gently unwind through center, find a little counter twist. Slowly come back up. We're gonna bring both feet flat on the ground. Get your hands forward and then lift your feet up. Maybe you grab the back of the knees. Maybe you straighten your arms and your legs. Squeeze your legs together. Reach out through the balls of the feet. Pull the belly in. Soften through your face. Now really slowly, we're gonna lengthen to a hover. Take your time. More time than you want to. Keep gazing down at your feet. Keep reaching for the feet. Everything's just hovering a couple inches off the ground. Slowly come back up. We'll do this a couple times. Moving at your own pace with your own breath. And then we'll hug our knees into our chest, rolling back onto the back. Release your knees. We're actually going to roll onto the belly for one pose. We're going to place the hands underneath of us. They're going to look like this. If your pinkies are going to touch, your elbows will touch too if you can. Your palms are going to face down to the ground. You're going to be laying on your arms. You're going to bring your chin onto the mat. Okay. So your pinkies are together. Your fingers are spread wide. Maybe your elbows are close to touching or touching. Chin is on the mat. Relax your left leg. Lift your right foot up just an inch. Reach back through the toes more. And then lift that leg higher. Don't let your left foot help. Okay, keep your left foot soft. Press into the hands and the shoulders. Lift the right leg higher. Let that hip bone dig into the forearm. Give you a massage here, releasing all that stuck energy from overuse. Stay with your breath. Reach back to the toes. Lift up one more time. And release, relax your right foot. Don't let it help as the left foot lifts just an inch. Reach back to the toes. Lift a little higher. Hands press down, shoulders press down. Right leg is relaxed, keep lengthening and lifting, keep breathing and release. Now we're gonna lift both legs up. It might be better to turn so your lips are touching the mat now. Zip your legs together, lift the feet just an inch, reach back to the toes, lift a little higher. Really let those hip bones dig in right now. Hands are pressing down, shoulders pressing down. Try to soften through the neck and the face. Reach the toes back, lift up one more time. And release. Release your arms from beneath you. Turn your head to either direction, let your ear rest. Come back to that box breathing. All right, now we're gonna come up onto the hands and reach the hands forward, almost straightening into the arms, but not quite. And then we're gonna lift the feet up off the ground, keeping them about as wide as the hips. If you feel okay here, we're gonna lift the hands up too and lengthen your toes to your fingertips. All right, now we're gonna lower the right foot and the left hand back down. We're gonna reach the right hand back before the left foot. We're gonna kick up into the hand. Now you can keep your right foot and your left hand grounded or you can lift them up. Kick up and back into that hand. Find your breath. Slowly, gently release. Feet down, both hands out in front. Lift the feet up. Maybe the hands lift up too. Now lower the right hand and the left foot. Reach the left hand back. Grab the foot, kick it to the hand. Stay here. Maybe that right hand and left foot lift up. Slowly, gently release. 
And now we'll just roll it right over onto the back and hug your knees into your chest. All right, let your right leg go long. Interlace your fingers around the left knee, hug it in tight. Kick through the right heel, hug your elbows in, really squeeze that knee into the armpit now. Chin is tucked. On that box breathing. Now turn the sole of that left foot up towards the sky and find a half happy baby. Keep the chin tucked, keep kicking through the right heel. Now you can either grab the big toe with the peace sign fingers and straighten that left leg out to the left. If that's too much, just bring the hand onto the knee and open that knee out to the side. Bend the knee, bring it across the body, hand it off for that spinal twist. This time straighten the left arm out to the side, let the gaze follow. Maybe your hand can help you bring that knee all the way to the ground. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. And that box breathing will just slow rhythmic flow. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Find a happy baby. All right, hug your knees in, let your left leg go long. Kick through the left heel, squeeze that right knee towards the armpit. Hug your chest. The elbows in. Hold the right foot towards the sky, half happy baby. Grab the big toe with the peace sign fingers if you're straightening that right leg out to the right. Gently guide the right knee open, keeping it bent. Bring that knee back across the body, hand it off for that spinal twist. Straighten the right arm out to the side, let the gaze follow. Maybe the hand helps you bring the knee all the way to the ground. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest one last time. And then let your legs go long on the mat. Spread your feet as wide as the mat, let your toes fall open. Close your eyes down. Now allow yourself this time to do absolutely nothing. Remember, engaging in mental activity is definitely not only something, something most of us spend a little too much time doing. So you carved out this space and time to allow yourself to unravel. So now really soak up all the benefits of your practice here by doing just that. Let go of even controlling the breath. more space 
settle into here. All right, before you invite a deeper breath back, just take note of this, this motion, this action of inviting, and then invite that deeper breath back into your body. And then again, same motion, same action of inviting movement back into your fingers and your toes. Invite yourself. Stay in this place of stillness, place of peace. Just notice those little tiny things. When you can feel that little tiny invitation before you start to engage in anything or react to anything. That little tiny emotion of inviting whatever it is you're doing. difference between consciously choosing what we do next and just being on autopilot or reacting to whatever's happening around you. Just that little tiny invitation, inviting yourself to take a deeper breath and take that one little second before you do the thing. When you're ready, we roll onto either side. And see if you can commit to staying in this place of presence, this place of peace, even as you start to move through your list today. Maybe today's the day you can make it a priority. Maybe anytime you lose this connection, you can sit back down or lay back down for a second and take a couple breaths and decide that it's more important than whatever is next on your list. Maybe you can still get everything on the list done from this place of peace. Maybe today's not the day that can happen. Maybe there's too many things to do. It's okay too. When you're ready, slowly peel yourself up, coming back to a comfortable seat at the top. We to close our practice with some gratitude. Inhale the arms up together, lift everything up one more time. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Let your head bow to the wisdom of the heart. Lift the thumbs to that space above the eyebrows. Take a moment to thank yourself for being here. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. May our thoughts and actions in some way contribute to that. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Have an awesome day.